7 a.m. I just arrived at uh, Sado ferry terminal. I've been driving all night uh, to get to Niigata and from 9 a.m. the ferry will depart to Sado Island, one of the very famous islands in Japan. I will tell a bit of more history about it once we get there. It should be a lot of fun. Stay with me, join for the ride. As you can see, the terminal is completely empty. I'm not sure if it's uh, due to the pandemic or it's just too early. But uh, me and my friends are the, the first customers here. Um, it seems to be a very interesting terminal with a lot of uh, ferry and I guess infrastructure around it. It's a nice place. So, uh, continuing on the topic of Sado. Sado is a very interesting uh, island uh, from old days. Uh, it is known for being an exile island. Uh, one of the famous uh, exiled figures was uh, a former emperor of Japan uh, who lost the war, uh, I think back in 1200s and he was exiled here and he spent a few decades and he eventually died in that Sado island so I, I hope I will be able to take you guys to the place where he lived um, in any event uh, stay with me this is how we set up the bicycles 10 bicycles in a van uh, on average every person <coughs> Every person has to pay around 8,000 so that's even that uh, we reduced one, one car If you take two cars it's gonna be even more expensive so if you're planning to come over just check the rates on the website I will put on the link and um, utilize as much as you can at Sado Island. Check this beauty out. The weather is amazing. Around 27, 28 degrees. Fresh breeze, low humidity, perfect conditions for cycling. And what are these? Okay, let's give you guys a full map of the island. Here we are. It's apparently uh, traditional kimonos, I guess, for the island. It's definitely a very unique island I've ever been. I thought it was small, but it looks pretty big.
Thailand is also very famous for its rice and rice whiskey, sake. Um, so for hundreds of years, South Island has been a main provider to the mainland Japan of rice and alcoholic beverages. It's just beautiful mountains, very dense forests and great, I guess, climate. In comparison to mainland Japan, Honshu Island, here the humidity is very low, so you constantly feel uh, fresh, cold air, and it's a comfortable weather to exercise or just to be outside. And the forest is amazing, completely covered in lush green. Check this out. to the beach and check it out it's getting chilly but the water is not too bad I'm thinking actually about swimming and it's quite steep over here it looks like I'll have to walk at least a kilometer or two to get to the shore to the beach so it's a very small island, it's like around 50,000 people and there's uh, around uh, 1,200 they have been, I think, hosting a famous exile, a former emperor and ever since and even before this island has been uh, sort of an exile place for all of the Japanese famous mm, critics of emperor or political opponents of the ruling elite and as you can imagine this is very isolated island and a lot of people don't even um, I can make in, in, in this environment and they it's a definite death for many people but if you look from the perspective of the nature and the beauty, it's just gorgeous, right? Look at this. I'm gonna take a dip now. Here we come, boys. Now, let's check it out. Oh, oh my god, ah, it's painful, oh, whoa, 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 it's so painful, oh my god, oh, whoa, 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 shit, sorry, sorry, guys. fucking hell, it's just so painful, oh my god, oh my god, how is the water? All right. Let's swim. Okay. Oh my god, this is amazing. All right, I'm going in. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's try this out. I've never done it before. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh.